Chris Bryan, a sound designer on Blind Sonics 1984. When me and Mark first spoke about this project, Mark was talking about the overall design ideas, the, the, the costumes and the whole aesthetic for the production, and how the music should reflect those in some way, and the problems he was dealing with, the difference in the styles that he wanted to incorporate, so the real sort of brutal military angle and aspect, the slightly futuristic aspect of it. You know, there was one point where he wanted everyone to be wearing almost futuristic costumes, like almost like Star Trek or something. What I'm trying to do with the music is make something uh, synthetic, clearly futuristic, um, but also also quite brutal military music made by computers, if you like. The idea of the sound design is going to be largely made by the, the Agitprop company. I don't know if there's a place in this production for conventional like recorded sound effects like you might have in the theatre. All the sound I think should be probably made by the company. And if there is recorded stuff, it's probably stuff we record the company making and then playing back into the space. Um, for example, you know, they make the sound of a, of a train with three chairs but we'll really invest in making the, that train as real as possible with those chairs in the same way, I suppose, visually. A puppeteer invests in getting the truth in the movement of a head, you know, uh, a visual truth. We're trying to get a sound truth in. That's a pleasure. It's been a pleasure talking to you.